What if I told you that the air around you has weight, not symbolism, not philosophy, but a force strong enough to shape weather, guide ships, and predict storms? This is the story of the barometer. For centuries, air was considered invisible and weightless. Then, in the 17th century, an Italian scientist asked a dangerous question. Why does liquid rise? And why does it stop? Evangelista Torricelli filled a glass tube with mercury, inverted it, and watched. The mercury column fell, then stopped. Above it, a vacuum. Below it, pressure from the atmosphere itself. For the first time, air was no longer nothing. It had weight, and it could be measured. The mercury barometer was simple, yet revolutionary. The height of the mercury column rose and fell with changes in atmospheric pressure. High pressure meant stable weather. Low pressure signaled storms ahead. Weather became numbers. Prediction replaced guessing. But, mercury came with problems. It was toxic, heavy, impractical outside laboratories. Science responded with innovation. The aneroid barometer removed liquid entirely. Inside, a sealed metal capsule expanded and contracted with pressure changes. Tiny mechanical movements turned air pressure into readable data. No mercury, more portability, wider use. Today, pressure is no longer seen, it is sensed. Electronic pressure sensors convert mechanical deformation into electrical signals. Fast, accurate, continuous, from weather stations, to aircraft altitude systems, to smartphones in your pocket, the same principle, a new language. The barometer never changed its idea, it only changed its form. Pressure creates change. Change reveals information. Measurement creates understanding. Without barometers, no reliable weather forecasts, no safe aviation altitudes, no climate modeling. It is not just an instrument, it is a bridge between the atmosphere and human knowledge. When science learned to measure air, it learned to read the sky, to explore the full scientific journey of the barometer from Torricelli to modern atmospheric science. Follow the complete episode only on For Science Salah Latfi channel.